All right, Shalom, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and citations to the elect. The title of this lesson is going to be called The Spiritual Draft Pick, which uh, I'm going to go ahead and play a clip of the video here uh, from, uh, from camp a few weeks, a couple weeks back, and uh, Lord willing, this be an edifying lesson. <laughs> Interesting. Would be the spirit, the men of the Lord, and we're going to be glorified for, for righteousness, man. That's right. That's right. Jake want to be glorified for some damn wickedness. To hell, look how they act over the NBA trophy. Yeah. Michael Jordan, oh, remember he was crying? They got the champagne. <laughs> 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 when Nick get drafted, he ain't won shit. Right. You better hope you were drafted <laughs> in the heavens. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That was the real draft. We were being a draft pick in the heavens from the yeah. foundation. Yeah. Right. 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 All right? The heavenly is going to bear the earthly, man. Woo! That's what we got coming. And you sit here crying over, over this world is done, man. Yes, America's man. born. It's washed up. Yeah. It says the instruments also of the churl. Okay. So, uh, you know, Elder Yashawamba made a joke here uh, about how we better hope that we are in the uh, draft pick of the heavens, which, though it was uh, funny, you know, it still is true that we hope to be uh of that number that is drawn into the uh into the heavens man we have a shot matter of fact i'll uh go ahead and get that one in first thessalonians the fourth chapter really quick um let me see how long this okay yeah so uh this is uh First Thessalonians four and sixteen. Hold on. Okay, yeah. First Thessalonians four and sixteen says, "For Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel." Okay, and that's that. <clears throat> uh, that's that calling. That says, uh, "Come thou, up hither, man." Matter of fact. Let me see something. Let me see what pulls up. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> this is uh, Revelation chapter 11. This is that spiritual draft pick right here, man. Okay. This is uh, Revelation uh, chapter 11. And I'll, uh, I'll start at verse 11. It says, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Okay, now that three and a half days represents uh, 350 years, okay, from the period of uh, uh, 1620 to 1970, during that time that us being the Israelites basically didn't have the name or the spirit or any type of uh, uh, comfort. OK, but now that we've received the spirit, now these Edomites, that's why these Edomites, uh, self-proclaimed white people are taking down these videos, our YouTube videos, man, because what they're uh, that great fear, like it talks about Revelation 11, 11 is falling upon them. Why? Because the spirit of the most high, the spirit of life from the most high entered back into us. OK, those uh, those dry bones and uh, are being. Uh, uh, made alive in those sinews and those ligaments and the muscles are coming back together to make us a, a, a living being, a living creature now in these days, man. In verse 12, it says, and they heard a great voice from, from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they ascended up into uh, up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them. See, that voice is the same voice that is spoken of in first Thessalonians, the fourth chapter which we're about to uh, finish reading, which is the voice of Yahweh Shai telling us to come 
up into the chariots, man. Okay? Because when you go into a draft pick, what do you want to hear? Your name called. You know? That's why uh, during the military draft, matter of fact, let's just go ahead and get the word draft. Um, let me see. Okay. Boom. Okay, military draft, which is a lot of definitions of it. Uh, hold on. I want to get the military draft. See if that's one. Terry, no, damn. Oh, let me get it. I'm going to get it. Just kind of doing all of this stuff uh, off the top. Okay, the act. Okay, I should have read the first one. In the, in, the, in the sense of fishing, the act of drawing or pulling a net. Let me see. Um, okay, this is the ninth definition right here. Let's see, damn, I need to get my charger. The ninth definition says. A system for or act of selecting individuals f uh, from a group as for compulsory military service. Okay. So the, a system or for or act of selecting individuals from a group. So out of the group of Israelites. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are hoping and praying that our uh, that our names are selected. Okay, to be what? To be delivered. Let me uh, let me get this charger, man. I'll have a computer soon. I'll be right to I'll be able to do lessons on the computer. Uh, okay, but I, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go back to uh, let me see here, because I was reading Revelation 11. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to First Thessalonians. Um. First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter. Okay, dropping down to the bottom, I'll start at verse uh, sixteen again. It says, "It says, for Yahweh Bashim Shai himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High." Okay, it says, "And the dead in Mashiach uh, shall rise first. So what does that mean? When Yahweh returns uh, in the clouds and in the chariots, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a calling for those uh, who who died in the faith, okay? And those men are gonna receive those spiritual bodies, man. It says that it says and it says they shall rise first. The dead in in Mashiach shall rise first. Those who died doing the work, the martyrs. Now, in verse 17, and so that's part of the uh, spiritual draft pick right there. And then verse 17 says, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. So we're going to be also, uh, well, yeah, Lord, Lord willing, uh, we're those men. We're going to also be uh, drafted. See, going back to that definition. Because you got two definitions, really, that can be applied here. The first one, the, uh, fishing, the act of drawing or pulling in a net. See, you, you draw you draw in. So we're going to be drawn in. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, let me get that word caught up real quick. Okay, because Yahweh Shah said that uh, he, had, he had made his disciples fishers of men. And so put two and two together. Uh, I'm tripping this along. This is a long verse. Uh, caught up. Here we go. Harpa. Ooh, harpazo. Harpazo. Just <laughs> it says. It reminds me. First of all, it reminds me of harpoon, like the weapon for fishing. By the way, 
but it says to seize, to carry off by force, to seize on, claim for oneself eagerly, eagerly. It says, excuse me, it says to snatch out or away. Okay, to snatch, we're going to be snatched out. I want to get that, uh, the definition, I mean, the uh, biblical usage. Yep, to, to to snatch or catch away. Okay, we're going to be still, <laughs> ooh, ooh. It says, use of divine power, transferring a person marvelously and swiftly from one place to another to snatch or catch away. Okay, so we're going to be transferred marvelously and swiftly, man, from this, damn, here we go, from this hellhole uh, uh, to, the, to the chariot, man. Okay, that's that draft, man, that draft pick, the spiritual draft pick. It says... Uh, let me see. Verse 17. And we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet Yahweh Bashem Yahshai in the air, which is going to be the chariots. We're going to be in the chariots. The chariots fly in the air. It says, and show and so shall we ever be with the Lord, because uh, if, if, if a man, if that if a, if the men um, uh, 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 that have been pushing the word get beamed up. The nut, that means that man is of the elect. Okay? That is salvation. Getting into the chariot. Once you get into the once 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 uh we get into the chariot, there is no there is no back going back to the to the to any all of our all of our sorrows and things that we did disdain as far as uh 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 bills and sickness. And all those uh, uh, things like that, we're not going to be subject to anymore, man. Okay? It says, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. We're going to be with Yahweh Bashim Yahshai forever. That's why when we hear that, we're like, we get so excited. You know, verse 18, wherefore comfort one another with these words. So that's, a, that's, that's our comfort, man. Here in these times, now that we, you know, because we still here, man. We still in this bad boy. Okay? America. But we uh, we we are a, a heaven of a lot closer than we were when this letter here uh, was written, man. And if they didn't give up back then, how much more now? Be seeing that we we ride the cusp, you know. Seeing that we right uh, uh, here, man, at the edge. Come on, man. Uh, <laughs> so the next scripture uh, going to go ahead and get is uh, Matthew. In uh, the 10th chapter, uh, 37 verse, this is Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. It says, he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. You see? So we have to put in. That work. we have to forsake those things that are pleasurable unto us, just as an athlete has to forsake the uh, the pleasures of, you know, say, for example, sleeping in, not going to practice, not staying in shape, you know, not uh, 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 eating whatever the heck he wants to eat, you know, not drinking all different types of Capri Suns and Kool-Aids and stuff that would obviously, you know, take you out of your uh, uh, prime, take you out of your uh, prime health, you know, mostly drinking water, eating uh, 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 vegetables, you know, that's that's forsaking, that's that's loving, uh, uh, that's the equivalent in our in our situation of loving uh, Yahweh Shai. More than uh, our, you know, family members, man. We have to forsake. We have to forsake that, man. We have to forsake, you know, the now not being said. When it's not like we don't don't talk to our family members, but we at the end of the day we understand that Yahweh Shai, okay, is the is the way onto the chariot, man. Not you know our our sister, man. You know, not our little cousin, man. As hard as that is to say, but it's the truth. You know. We can't even save ourselves. 
But Yahweh Shai, that's our Savior, man. That's what his name means. You know? It says, He that loveth father uh, or mother more than me is not worthy of me. You see? We want to be worthy, man. Oh, matter of fact. Get that. This is uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1. It says, I, therefore, the prisoner of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You see, we, <laughs> we have no choice, man. Unless we just want to get put to death, we have no choice but to continue in that which we've embarked upon, man. You know, for those of us who've put our hands on the plow, which I perceive 99% of the viewers of my videos, at least, uh, um, you know, are the brothers in the camps. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> that's we the ones who watch each other's videos the most, man. It says, I, therefore, the prisoner of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. Now, we have been commanded to uh, uh, behave according to uh, that which is ex expected of us, man. Okay? It says, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. And one thing about a team if you're not on point with the team, it don't matter how good you are or think you are, you're not going to be uh, enjoying your time there on the team, okay? Because everybody else is going to be making your life, you know, uh, harder, man, because you don't want to cooperate, you know? And it's the same thing uh, in, the, in, the, in the truth. Now, we don't make it We don't make it hard. How about Shimei Asha make it hard if, if a man doesn't... Uh, um, you know, uh, behave himself according to meekness and long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit. If a man doesn't uh, uh, strive for those things and is more uh, contentious than, you know, encouraging and brotherly, well, it's, you know, going to be a rough ride uh, for that brother un unless they get, you know, get that, get that act together, man. Because Yahweh Shah commanded us uh, to love one another, man. Now, um, that was a precept I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and go back to uh, Matthew 10. Okay. This is uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse uh, 38. And he, that ta and he that taketh not his cross, well, that cross represents uh, the burden, for uh, per se, of this, of this truth and of this knowledge. Okay. He that uh, taketh not his cross and followeth after me uh, is not worthy of me. Because some have uh, uh, basically made that uh, potential ticket that they had on a chariot, you know, void by putting that cross down, man. Putting that burden of, of, know, of knowing the truth, which part of the burden is. And by the way, the burden is not, the, the work is not grievous. It's not a, it's not a, you know, uh, unreasonable uh thing that has been given us to do to 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 do our three videos a week and then go out on the highways and byways and to uh, uh continue to be brotherly towards one another and study and keep the high holy days it's not a grievous thing okay but if we don't do it then what to say it's not worthy okay we're not worthy man and we pray 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 to you how about shimmy that we are worthy man you know Cause hey, this our only shot. This ain't no, it ain't no rewinding, nothing after the after the missiles get launched and they drop. Ain't nothing going, nothing, nothing's reversible, man. Okay. So we 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 pray to Yahweh Bashim Yashai for to maintain in the position uh, uh, that we're in and 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 increase in the spirit. Okay, cause we want to get better, man. You know. When you when a man gets drafted into you know the NBA or the uh, uh, MLB or the NFL, the the practices don't stop. Okay. You know. But the end of the the end of the day, uh, uh, we do pray that this uh, uh, 
drafting, if you will, uh, that, that our names get called, man. Because in, 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 uh, this is just an analogy, if you will, to, you know, draft to the draft pick, you know, to the, the sports draft pick. Because in the kingdom, we're not going to have to uh, do the work. We're just going to innately uh, 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 be righteous, man. We're not going to have to go preach the word. Okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish it off on the scripture here in uh, Luke, the 14th chapter. And I'll start at... Uh, I'll start at the 16th verse. It says, Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. And you have uh, uh, men who have been bidden. When you get bidden, it's like an invitation to an event. Okay? And so we are going out on the highways and byways uh, pursuing uh, to uh, Ezekiel, the third chapter, and pushing the word to a people that don't want to hear the message. And they what? They make excuses in their minds or, you know, mostly in their minds. There's a reason why, which is really a demon, as a reason why, you know, not to, uh, to, to, to uh, participate in this work, man. You know, I'm not saying immediately just come you know, uh, 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 make a garment, you know what I mean? And, 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 you know, go out and preach. We're saying to, to be attentive to the words being spoken, man, because this is a process. It says, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden come for the, all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, so uh, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And by the way, when these people, when these, uh, and this is a parable, but breaking it down, when these people make excuses uh, to to be, ex- uh, yeah, to be excused, you know, to be, uh, uh, for lack of a better word, you know, uh, uh, forgiven for not showing up, they are basically turning down the the Lord, man. Okay. That's why uh, uh, the Most High said in uh, the book of Isaiah, I have stretched out my hands all the day to a people that will not hear me. Okay, because as much as we push the word and preach to the point where it is, this this uh, devil is is pretty much. uh, okay, yeah, uh, to to the point where this devil is pretty much um, uh, uh, about to shut down the, uh, the whole YouTube. Okay. You would think that our people would, you know, adhere, man. It's going on 10 years now, more than 10 years, excuse me. You know, now myself personally, it just kind of started really kind of, you know, getting on the YouTube uh, as far as making videos two years ago. But, uh, you know, the apostles uh, and elders in the uh, of our camp and of other camps have been pushing for uh, easily, easily over 10 years, man. 11 years, 12 years, man. We're going into 2020 now. Okay. And uh, the scripture I referred, by the way, is Isaiah 65 and 2. You know, we'll talk about spreading out the hands. Now, uh, continuing on in this chapter, it says in Luke 14 and 19, it says, And another said, I have bought five, uh, five yoke of oxen. I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed the Lord his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. And so, you know, originally the word was pushed out to, you know, the uh, uh, to the so-called, you know, I'll say to, to the southern kingdom, okay, to the circumcision during that time. Which, you know, a lot of our people made excuses and said this and that, that they don't want to go ahead and, you know, and, and join themselves. Okay, boom. So now what? Now the Most High sent uh, Paul to go and, and Barnabas and, you know, multiple, multiple, multiple other uh, 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 elders and uh, and apostles to go ahead and push the word during that, uh, you know, during the, uh, the time uh Biblical times, let's say that during New Testament times. Okay, 
And so that's what you have here. Now, in these days, the same thing, the Gentiles being waken up. OK. And all of the all of us really uh, uh, represent the Israelite foreigners because uh, like like we're going to all, all the time, the Israelite foreigners are those who were raised not under Israelite customs, which that was like none of us. OK, we all got pictures on, you know, of ourselves, little babies, you know, by a Christmas tree or celebrating our, you know, first, third, fifth birthday. You know what I mean? When the, those, those were those are customs, biblical customs. Those are customs of our captors, man. So proclaim white people. Edomites. It says in verse uh, 22. Now, by the way, we were healed, man. We're no longer, you know, uh, uh uh, blind, we're no longer mute, we're no longer, you know, lame, man, on our feet uh, through the spirit, you know, spiritually. Verse 22 And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the, uh, the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the he highways and hedges and compel them to come in that the house may be filled. And that's what is being fulfilled right now, man. All of the uh, believers are being woken up, okay? And what is happening, man? The house is being filled, man. When the house is filled, that marriage supper attend, uh, attendance uh, slip is complete, then the doors is going to be cold, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, shut, man. The doors of, of repentance are going to be shut, okay? Which we're approaching that soon and very soon, man. Okay, so we better hope and pray that, that we are of that number that's in that uh, 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 wedding, man. Okay? That's to come between us and Yahweh Bashim Shai. Because if we're not part of that spiritual draft pick, on the outside, it's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. A.K.A. missiles, man. Famine, pestilence. You know, if, it, if, if, uh, if, if that stuff, the, the famine and the pestilence and the plagues don't reach you first. All right, cool. Uh, then what's coming next, man? Thermonuclear fire, man. Okay? And it says, for uh, verse uh, 27, For I say unto you that none of those uh, men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. Okay? So so we better hope and pray that we're answering to the calls of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai uh, in the spirit when it's, when it's tugging us to do a lesson or, or do something through the spirit. To do and execute because the Lord is not going to lead us in a way of destruction, man. Okay? If uh, if we're of the elect. So, uh, Abarat Zai, you brothers are edified with that. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, Bashar Machak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom.